Okay, question nine. So we're given two values of the car, two different rates of depreciation. We want to work out the value of them both after three years. So let's first of all look at Natasha's car. So we're going to take the price of a car, 05, and then we're going to times it by the depreciation rate. Well, so it's going down by 12%. That means that the interview is worth 88% of what it was at the beginning of the year. And the same thing for Lauren's, except that hers will be 87%. Uh, it will be worth less because it's losing more per year. So the rule is it's just the amount times the multiplier, in this case 0.88 to the power of 3. So when we do that, we get 9.9 times 37.20064. So her car is worth £9,537.20 after three years. If we do the same with Lauren's car, her started off uh, worth more. This time we're going to the multiplier, but she, her car loses more value of the year, slightly. So we do that calculation, you get 9,545.000985, which means her car is worth £9,545 to the nearest pence. So, after the three years, Lauren's car is worth slightly more after three years. Great depreciation shipping, the ten years ago, is to the houses effect. Well, if her 12% was two, that was going to be higher, then her car will lose more money every year. And so End of three years. So a car's going to lose more money because the depreciation rate is going higher, it means it's worth less after a year, and then when you're at compounds and compounds, compound interest, it compounds and compounds, and definitely worth less after three years.